And good morning. Welcome back. We're in the book of Lamentations, chapter 2, verses 7 to 9 this morning. The Lord has spurned his altar. He has abandoned his sanctuary. He has given up the walls of her palaces into the hand of the enemy. They have made a noise in the house of the Lord as on the day of a set feast. The Lord has purposed to destroy the wall of the daughter of Zion. He has stretched out a line. He has not withdrawn his hand from destroying. Therefore, he has caused the rampart and wall to lament. They languished together. Her gates have sunk into the ground. He has destroyed and broken her bars. Her king and her princes are among the nations. The law is no more, and her prophets find no vision from the Lord. This is a pretty dismal section today, but what of it? Again, when God spurns his altar, when he abandons his sanctuary, that should sort of send a message to these people. Hey, God is, is not pleased with your long, long behavior of apostasy. They should be getting the message. You know, he's, he's, he's allowed the Babylonians to come and conquer them. They laid siege to Jerusalem two and a half years. How did that work out for them? You know, they should be getting the message. And so God, of course, has allowed the sanctuary to come into this, this uh, state of chaos and non-function. And who caused the destruction around here? Well, it was the Babylonians. Well, but the Babylonians are there because God's people weren't faithful. And so it was God's people that caused the destruction. But God withdrew his protection. So it was God that caused the destruction. So you can sort of sort that out a little bit. But the, the baseline is that he withdrew his protection because they were like, we really don't care. So God let them have the fruit of their doings. Now this ends on this grim note. The princes are in captivity, the king and princes. The law is, is no more. The prophets aren't receiving visions anymore. Remember, we talked about these institutions, the leaders, the princes and the king, the, the priesthood. We have these major institutions that were there to help the people draw close to the kingdom and they're not functional. Kings are off in captivity. The leaders have been killed or taken to captivity. The priesthood, you know, they're not doing anything right now. They're on in captivity in Babylon. And the false prophets, of course, also have been slain or gone to Babylon. In other words, God has abandoned those institutions. He hasn't given up those institutions, but he's abandoned those leaders, and those people have been sent into captivity. He's going to get a new crop of leaders out of the situation. And when we think about how we might apply this today, to God's church in the world today. We're led to think, well, how are our leaders doing about maintaining the, the faithfulness of the word? We need to pray for the those who are leading because there are many pressures arrayed against them. What about the priesthood? Well, we have the priesthood today of all believers, you and me and everybody who names the name of Christ. We are, we are his priests in this world. How are we doing, interceding for others, uh, drawing others toward the kingdom? Are we being slippery and lazy and not doing our job? Then there's the issue of speaking for God, either whether it's prophesying or, or preaching. Are we preaching a faithful message today? Are we being faithful to the things that God has shown his prophets and shown us? How is the church doing today? Something to think about as we look back in this devastated city of Jerusalem. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, you have done everything possible, everything, for our redemption from sin. And yet many times your believers are indifferent. Help us, Lord, to be not indifferent, but to be seeking which way, following your eyes, seeing what you want us to do, watching closely for your insights from heaven, for, your, for t helping us know what your will is, that we may do it faithfully, absolutely way more faithfully than what led to this terrible destruction in the city of Jerusalem. Help us, Lord, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. May God be your helper and mine today.